Hello, Pouring Nation. We are back for try number two at the angel wing pour. So what we learned last week, which I will link in the description above, is that I want to try the cause art, C-O-Z art method, and the smart art materials method. And I'm gonna make a couple of adjustments just based on some, some things that I've done here. And we're also gonna try a square cup so I can get a bigger, a, just a square four ounce Tupperware. And then I've got a five ounce regular cup. I'm only gonna do about four ounces in each of these. And we're gonna need each type in each one and pour it out and see how it looks. Now my paint is much thicker than I normally do. It creates a mound upon a mound upon a mound. That's kind of hard to see there. So we noticed that the paint uh, drizzled into itself way too much uh, last week. So this week we're going to make a mound upon a mound upon a mound. Just checking the consistency of my paints. This week we're going to try the Blacrylic Economy Acrylic uh, Polymers. Because I'm doing so many of these, I don't want to really use it expensive paint yet. So I have the metallic gold, the Mars black, and the titanium white. So you can notice the color's different here. I added a little bit of burnt sienna because I wanted kind of a more uh, uh, rich. So that's why it has a little bit of brown in it. So let's try it out. All right, for the cause art, I'm gonna put mostly white in first. All right, today's question of the day. How do you guys layer your paints? Do you layer in big layers, small layers, layers around the edges, translucent and opaque, complementary colors, tertiary colors? How do you do it? Let us know in the comments below. So I wanted the same amount in each cup, so I just evened them out there. So the cause art, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some gold on just on this side. And then we're gonna put some black all the way around, but only on the outside. And then for the Smart Art Materials, what, they, what she did is she actually poured them, she put a divider in and then poured them um, separate there. And I apologize for the camera there. Put a divider in and put black and white on one side. I found that it's easier just to layer the black on one side after the white's already in. All right, so with the cause art, um, we want the white to come out first. Since the white is all down here, and the gold is on this side and the black is around the side, we're gonna pour from the side that the white is on. See how that paint is going back and forth and back and forth? So today's bonus tip is while you're painting, make sure you have a place where you can deposit your paintings where they won't get disturbed so they can dry. In this case, I have a table that has a bunch of different layers that I made and I have a Lully Vifi super large rectangle um, silicone mat. And after I'm done painting up here, I pop them down here and let them dry. Uh, so hopefully no dust or things like that uh, get on them down here. So for those of you that aren't here before, my name's David and I have been acrylic pouring for a few years and my goal on this channel is to save you guys time, to save you money by doing all the things that you wonder about, that you guys want to experiment with so you can learn while I learn and not have to use all those resources and hopefully have less paintings that you don't like and create more paintings that you love. So if this is the type of content you're looking for, please like and subscribe, which really helps our channel out. And if you want to get notified when my weekly videos come out, hit the bell icon. Let's get back to the video. Then with the Smart Art Materials, we, we want the white to come on top, so we're gonna do that also. 
I lost all the black. That did not work, Leslie. I was expecting it to. So we're going to try flipping this backwards. Okay, so some of the lessons learned here is this first one. I got some amazing colors, some amazing definition along the side, but right here where I wanted the feathers, they're a little bit too fat. So my, my paint was a little bit too thick. So last time was a little too thin, this time was a little too thick. This one, I got the best coloring. I got some nice edges there that come in and some nice color, especially there on the left. This one was one of my favorites, just based on how the colors came out. The gold is kind of underneath the black, which I really liked. It travels over here. This right here is just spectacular. And then this one, I wasn't expecting to see a lot of the black, but it was kind of stuck behind, and it's made those little not what I wanted, but it's it's beautiful what's happened here. So it's interesting. So again, the experiment wasn't done to be successful. The experiment was done to learn so that the next time we can be more successful.